A large quantity of mushrooms was filmed in front of a live studio audience. In Detroit, by the looks of it. Oh, here they are. They're in this area. They're in my sober world apartment. Detroit actually isn't this bad these days. A lot of hipsters have moved in and are starting to gentrify, which is what they do anywhere. Taking a shitty place and making it nicer, uh, inventing a word to make that sound like a bad thing because the people who don't make it nicer can't afford to live there, is kind of a stupid, retarded concept. Let's see, where was I? I was here. Are you ready? Are you wrapped up and fucking cozy? Alright, I'm ready too. Gonads 1 and 2 are both online and ready to shine. This is where I was, I think. Oh no! Oh shit, what have I done? I forgot I completed this. Now there's just the elevator ride. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, that's okay. I can uh, find... Here he is. Horatio Rodriguez is on the other side of this wall. I have to say goodbye to him. Vaya con Dios. Um... Well, shit, I guess we have to have another long, uncomfortable elevator ride together. What have we learned from here? We learned the yellow equals bong. I think it's a bong. It looks kind of like a bag, like a ball sack at the bottom and then a long, skinny dick. So, like a scrotum totem. If that's a thing. Our descent into madness begins! It's probably generous. I've been like this for a long time. Uh, kick back and enjoy the ride, Makosa Bros. From your cozy nose all the way down to your cozy toes. Each, each of your toes is its own individual cozy bro. Wrap up like a little burrito. I hope. Oh, it's much faster. That's good. Man, I am torn because I've heard people say <coughs> if you make being cozy your goal in life, you're just going to stagnate. It's, it's really easy to do the comfortable thing and to cheat yourself out of a much more ambitious and bright future. But the thing is, if you are, have really exacting taste and, co and comfort, like being the specific kind of cozy you can only be in a Swiss ski lodge, then that drive will still take you to cool places. Am I dead? Am I dead? Okay. I think I can just cheat my way out of the last puzzle because... Because... I have three out of the four, so if I... If I set three out of the four correctly... Then I can just guess the last one. I can spin it around the wheel until I happen to hit the right... Rune. Viking rune. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a ticket for this but apparently even in mushroom world there is still capitalism somebody still has to make money off of the transit system I don't know where I am right now like in the real world I assume that I'm just popped up out of my mind wandering around the real world but this is what I'm seeing in, in my perspective yeah it's Detroit, more or less. 
New Jersey also gets a bad rap, even though parts of it are really pretty. Thing is, parts of anywhere on Earth are really pretty. There are, pro there are pretty parts of North Korea. That doesn't mean it's overall a nice place to live. Is that my apartment? It has to be. It's the only one with anything on the inside. You're lucky that was a short elevator ride, because I was going to start to tell you about letting Jesus into your heart. If he's not already in there, eating his way out of you from the inside. I've never gone all the way back here. I don't know what it, what's... Whoa. This doesn't look like where I want to be, is it? I'm inside of the, the mesh. That's not... <coughs> I will pretend I did not see that. Actually, no, I'm going to have another look because I haven't been here before. That's all there is to it. I could fall out of the world here. Flat Earth confirmed. The reptilians don't want us to know about. I was searching for Flat Earth stuff the other day just because it fascinates me that there are people who sincerely believe that. And what I found was an Answers in Genesis article. from a, It's a creationism ministry that poses as a scientific think tank. Because they like to put on lab coats and be like, look at us, we're scientists too. Um, and they have some science. They grossly exaggerate the number of scientists who reject Darwin. A lot of them aren't even scientists, but like dentists and shit, just somebody with credentials of some kind after their name, and a lot of them don't even know they're on the list. Um, but it was actually a really well done, really well researched article about why, how it is we know that the Earth is round. Uh, they left out all the apologetics that the Flat Earth people would have put in to say, no, this argument is bullshit, and in doing so, I think they left that out because they realized, hey, that's what we do. We come up with the same kind of huge stretches to defend creationism so they just only presented their side of it which is what they do anyway with intelligent design it, w it was otherwise other than that like not accounting for the opposition's counter arguments it was a really well written article but it was written from the deeply ingrained assumption that evolution is false and uh and that anything that makes creationism look bad is a scientific conspiracy just to make them look bad. So he accused the whole flat earth thing of just being, because it's deeply associated with Christianity. All the people you see talking about the flat earth believe that because the Bible describes the flat earth co cosmology and a lot of people don't even know that. And and apologists like to deny that and say, no, that's that's not what it says. It can't, can't say that because then it would be ridiculous. And, and so he said, oh, I, I can't, seem to find uh, any basis, like the only flat earth organizations I can find are on social media, which is flat out untrue. Uh, the Institute for Creation Research has several prominent flat earth speakers uh, as fellows who attend their talks. They just don't like to publicize that for obvious reasons. That's a like I saw a meme the other day on Facebook from these people that said, "We uh, we know that the stars are actually very small and close to us because otherwise they would not be able to fall to Earth as the Bible says they will do in the final days. They're much too large, according to secular science. They, they could, the Earth would have to fall into them. The stars can't fall to Earth, so they must actually be small and inside the firmament." which is the dome that they believe covers... They think the sky is literally a solid thing, or like a bubble dome. And I thought, that's so freaking backwards. Like, never do they think, maybe that's because we're the ones that are wrong. They think, well, because we all know the Bible's true, because it is, and because I feel that way, 
then if science says it's this way and that doesn't square up the Bible, then science must be wrong or these people must be liars. And, I, man, I want to gas them. I feel like I can't be alone in that. I understand the importance of freedom of speech, but they multiply. And the Internet's supposed to make it hard for lies to persist because you can propagate uh, good information faster than the lies, but that ha hasn't been how it has worked out. Instead, uh, nonsense seems to be propagating faster, using the Internet for its own benefit. And when people go looking for something to defend it, the Internet gives them, there was a shadow figure right there, fuck off with those hallucinations. When when these nutcases look for something to defend it, they can they can find each other on the internet. And instead of just being the only nutcase in their community, suddenly they have people around the world who think the way they do. Can't I open that? If that's not where my apartment is, where the fuck is it then? Maybe I need to use the right thumbstick. Hmm. Is it down a level? I feel like my door should still be open. If I go down a level, I think I'm going to be on the street, though. Yes, that's the street. I don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be on the street. Sometimes I don't even want to help them. I just want to make them more fucked up than they are. Like, Convince them the world can't be flat because it's hollow. And to see how far in that direction... Here here we go. In that direction, I can push them until they're crazier than they were when I found them. Yes. I know I talk about this a lot, but it boggles my mind. It's not just flat earth stuff. It's stuff like, uh... Lawsonomy... And the belief that all human illnesses are down to differences of flow and pressure. So what did we learn? There's still lossonomists out there. After all these years, shockingly. Yellow equals... Bong. And... Pink equals... Triangle. And blue equals W. And I could just cheat, but I don't want to cheat because there's a really cool experience where you get the... Hello, ninja wife. You're not doing a very good job of being a ninja if I can see you. You should be, like, doing Sam Fishering your way up, hiding on the ceilings of one of these rooms. I don't know. What would sex with a ninja wife be like? You wouldn't even know what happened. You'd just be covered in your own jizz and bewildered as to how it happened. That's happened to me once or twice, but I don't think it's because a ninja went down on me. That, that I know of. Oh, it's you. Okay. Well, you, you stay there, doing whatever it is you're doing in the shadows. Here's where the, the weird shit happens, where you get the rune you need for the red part of the puzzle. You drink this because I drink whatever I find laying around. Life becomes a grand and mysterious adventure when you don't pay close attention to what you put in your body. You can quote me on that. This is a very Alice in Wonderland, of course. I don't even think I'm done shrinking either. I think there's another stage of shrinking, if I remember. More cat people just hanging out. You know, that's all right. You can watch if you're into that. This is a no judgment zone. Hourglass, I'm going to say. It looks like the symbol on the underside of a black widow. What do I have to do? Oh, shh. These things are hiding every fucking which way. I don't appreciate that.
But you know what I do appreciate? The fact that if you or someone you love has received a settlement from mesothelioma lately, I don't remember how it goes. That's the whole joke. C plus. Come on, C plus. It's my C plus and I want it now. Isn't that everything? How do I oh this way? I've already fucking forgotten what the symbol was. I'm such a bad mushroom dimension adventurer, whatever that is. Looks like some what somebody from Berkeley would put on their resume. Or I forget the name of it. There's a art school, liberal, liberal art school. It's out in the woods here in Oregon, where everybody I've ever seen who came from there was just like a sh a, sh a shoeless, shoeless. I want to say shirtless. That's not true. They had shirts on. They just didn't have shoes, and and their hair was. You know, it smelled like cat pee and was in ratty old dreads. That seems like fun, though. That's probably a fun way to live your life once. If I had a bunch of different lives to live it, I would totally be a filthy, disgusting flower child at least once. That's that. I, I could ma make that the end of the video, but that would not be terribly long. Yep. The bus pass looks so normal. Everything else is fucked up. Well, Ninja Wife, I have to say goodbye to you now. We both knew it would come to this. You can keep all my shit. The court was going to give it to you anyway. No tears. No tears. Only dreams now. I'm gonna huff some of my farts for the road. <sighs> oh, el sabor. Oh, I still need it. Are you kidding me? Did I lose the key in the process? No, I didn't. What the fuck then? Okay, I have I have the key card. Fuck off. I've mastered light switch technology at the very least. Hmm. Maybe I need to wash my disgusting balls. I can't get in here though. That's alright. I'll just let them stew in their own funk. Do you have my key? What is she even underneath that face veil? What the fuck is she? We just leave our paintings on the ground in this house. That's all right. Is it here? This is a cozy little bedroom. Her egg has not hatched yet. She was so excited too. I don't have the heart to tell her that it came out of a 25 cent machine. This way she won't bug me for kids. Um. That's a little bit buggy. Well, I'm fucking stuck. That's a little bit fucked. Oh, fuck that too. I can't get out. I don't know why. Maybe I left the key up in the attic. I wonder if there's rule 34 of Ninja Wife. Probably. If there wasn't before, just the moment I said that, I bet you it sprang into existence. Okay, I already went here. Did I drop my keys somewhere? Can that happen in this game? Anything can happen in this game. With the power of imagination. 
I like your paintings. I'm going to say canonically that Ninja Wife is a painter. And a sculptor, or I'm a sculptor? I only know how to sculpt one thing, though. So we just fill up the attic with all my sculptures that never sell. Nobody wants these. Oh, cool. This is why I keep coming back, man. The atmosphere is top pity. You cannot fault it for atmosphere. I just want to keep... It's like Ethan Carter, Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I keep playing that. <clears throat> Even though I don't really care much for the gameplay. Just because the photogrammetry-based environments are so beautiful to look at and fun to explore. What you got on back here? Well, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, why is that okay? Why is that okay? How come you can do that? I can do that, but only once. I don't know. What the fuck is that? Whoa. All right. You never showed me that in bed. Oh, all right. Well... I have never done that before. I heard a rattling though. Does that mean the front door is unlocked? Okay, okay. Exorcist shit going on there. Your mom sucks cocks in hell. I still can't get out. I'm gonna have to end this video soon if I can't figure out why the key is not in, it's not in there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Go, go ahead this time and comment if you think you know what it is I'm doing wrong. Not like with my life. I already know what I'm doing wrong with my life. Specifically this game. I'm stuck in here. That's really sucky. I think if I sobered up and went back to the real world and then came back here again, probably I would be able to unlock the door. I just hate the fact that I'm going to have to do that. This is a ploy, Ninja Wife, isn't it? To keep me here longer. Oh, if you hit A, she looks away. Why? Are you, are you shy? All the petals say go this way. Oh, she gives you hints on where to go. Which would be really useful if I had the key. I have to cut it short this time. Apparently, I'm stupid or the game glitched. Either one is a distinct possibility. Your hands are going through your thighs. Something is amiss here. You don't even have real hands. You have, like, mutant flippers. Which would feel exquisite on my cock. Probably. I'm willing to take one for the team to find out. Oh, she shows you the paths. One at a time. I think I'm going to cut it short here and then come back with a fresh perspective and hopefully the key that I need to get out of my own apartment. Hit like and subscribe.